Uh, now, it is uh, arguably the greatest work of British literature. The what, first... their book? Absolutely, yes. Certainly and one of them. At the second, the second <laughs> is the first folio of Shakespeare's plays, which was published 400 years ago today. This very day, yeah. And to celebrate the anniversary, copies of the publication are going on display in theatres all over the country. And in one place, Prescott in northwest of England, it's not just making, marking a pivotal cultural moment, but also a transformation via Shakespeare of the town itself, as our arts correspondent David Sillito will tell us. Welcome to Prescott, nestled between St Helens and Liverpool. And this is, well, the last time I was here, it was the Red Lion. It's now... The Mermaid Tavern in Prescott. Now, it wasn't the Mermaid Tavern last time I was here. It wasn't. It was a Red Lion. So why has it changed? It's changed. The Mermaid Tavern um, is actually a place where Shakespeare used to drink. What used to be Greg's is now Mercutio's, named after the character from Romeo and Juliet. This has become the Bard. The old mill is now the stage door. And yes, that is Shakespeare again looking down on us. This is the uh, Lord Strange. And so far we've been to the Mermaid, Mercutio's, the stage door, the Bard. Um, add it all together and what do you get? Well, it's an awful lot of Shakespeare. And this is the cause of this Shakespearean makeover in what used to be a town famous for making clocks, watches and cables. Shakespeare North, a recreation of a theatre from the 1600s. Some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. And when people walk in here, does it have an impact? Absolutely. Yeah, I think when people step in the door, what if people will speak to afterwards in the bar, they just said, this is just amazing. We've got monitors in the dressing room and every night we see people coming in taking photos of the theatre. I have never ever seen that in no. any other theatre. No. no one does that. So they come in here. Yeah. Whoa, look at this. Poop, poop, the, poop, they're walking poop, around poop. taking pictures of the you know. theatre. Oh, here we go. Here it is. This is... The folio. And on this 400th anniversary, it's one of the hosts of a rare copy of an original Shakespeare first folio. The best and most beautiful folio. You're honoured. We, we really are. But this isn't a heritage project. Prescott sits in the third most deprived borough in England, and this theatre has both an economic and a cultural mission. The people on stage are the people who are in the audience, who are engaging with us. They look like us, they sound like us, and that's really important in making these human stories translate into an audience today. Be it so she will not hear before you. For Tia, playing here both Aegeus and Wall in Midsummer Night's Dream, this was her first big break after an open audition in her home, Newcastle. Now I want snout by name, present to Wall. So does Shakespeare sound better in Geordie? Yeah. <laughs> Everything sounds better in Geordie, yeah. <laughs> in which the fearful lovers... Now, forgive me, I mean, you're not from a posh background, are you? No, not at all. <laughs> um, no, I'm um, from... Um, like council flat kid, um, raised by a single mom, very proud of all that. But yeah, that's my background. So when I went into acting, um, it is harder if you're, um, you know, if you're not from a, kind of a middle class background. I think for sure. So Shakespeare didn't mean a lot to you when you were growing up. Not when I was growing up. No, I wasn't. I wasn't exposed to Shakespeare. So my first real hit of, of Shakespeare was when I got the part. I remember when I when I first got it, you know, it's like it was like Googling every word and, and making sure you knew what it was you were saying. Um, but once you get it, you, you get it, I think. He has my love and what is mine, my love shall render him. I was just in my element. I've never been um, able to, to be on a, on a stage like that. You, once you're in it, it's just the, it's the best feeling. It really is. And that question about what Shakespeare should sound like is fascinating. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day, thou'rt more lovely and more Ben Crystal is an expert in Shakespeare's own accent. May and summer's less hath all too short a date. OK, give me a couple of Shakespearean quotes from the different accents. So there's the, the posh one you had taught it. If this be error and upon me proved, I never writ, nor no man ever loved. So proved and loved, they don't rhyme. Shakespeare would have done it. Uh, in original pronunciation, 
If this be error and upon me proved, I never writ, nor no man ere loved. The rhyme, the rhyme works the rhyme. when you get the accent right. Mm. Um, doing it in a northern accent, doing it in a West Country accent, doing it in a Norfolk accent. I think it, it, it brings something. Absolutely. One of the greatest things about this theatre is that you're going to hear the accents of Liverpool and all the city regions, Manchester and Lancashire. That's what this place is about, isn't it? A hundred percent. Absolutely. You, you can pay very little to be here and where you can hear a sound that's familiar to you rather than is distant from you. It's the, the sound of the many rather than the few. I think you're getting as close as we can possibly get to Shakespeare without use of a TARDIS. So, on this 400th anniversary, a moment of recognition for a town and a theatre deeply invested in the work and legacy of William Shakespeare. David Salato, BBC News, Prescott. Cheers to them. Cheers to them, yeah, and uh, over to Carol. <laughs> I, I mean, it's just every time, every time we look over there and it's just a, it's just a 